Um, Hello, it's Dairy Free Lemon and Yeta Kiss 5000 yet again. Don't uh, click new game. <laughs> we are going to continue with Five Nights at Freddy's once again. Um, what do you think it was so far, by the way? It's definitely interesting. It's not my kind of horror game. I like the ones where you're going through a house or something. Um, it's, Sister it's, Location does let you move around the facility and you actually do different things, not just sit in one place. Right, um, because it, it kind of makes me feel more helpless just sitting there. And it's not its not like most horror games that I've watched or been into. You could probably um, fight back, I'm assuming. No. No? It's you, just that they're more, they've got more intrigue to them. Uh, There's more lore, too. Um, this doesn't really get lore until the second or third game when you learn more each night. Right. Right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start night two. Yeah. 12 a.m. This I game is very simple when it comes to telling you about each character. Right. But it does gradually escalate, which I appreciate. I feel like that cupcake is one of them. I'm gonna go ahead and check. Everybody's where they're supposed to be. And then there's the obvious power factor where um, if you think you've used the camera enough to identify everything you can, you go and put it back down. Because eh? mm -hmm. this, it's not his idea of power management, but I think they execute it kind of oddly. FNAF 3 is the game where you make the most- Oh shit. There's okay, Chica. there's one. Okay. There's the other. I like how you're not getting a phone call this time. Did you hit mute call or something? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's odd. Okay, he's still there. Uh, where did I find the bunny? Or the chicken? Right there. Oh, I forgot to check one. He's not out yet. Okay. The more you die or the more you progress, the more I'll give you other tidbits to just help you along. Well, for I'm hearing something. I'm hearing something. I was hearing dum dum diddy dum dum. I know what that means, and as time goes on, I'll tell you what it means. For the time being, I'll let you wonder what that means. Okay, the chickens moved. Okay. And just. <gasps> what? Why is he looking straight at the camera? He knows you're watching. What the fuck? Okay, look, he's look still how cute there. He is. The rabbit. What? Where'd the chicken go? If you think the chicken's near you, just use the lights to quickly check if they're next to you. And I mean quickly. You'll you'll know it's them very quickly, so you can quickly turn off the light. Like just click, click, because okay? they will be quickly identified once you have the light on. And the game actually has an audio indication. Chicken's in the kitchen. Let's check on Freddy. Okay, Freddy's still where he's... Yeah, it honestly don't hurt much if you just occasionally check there. Oh, hi. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Yep. The only reason... The, you can hear the game over, over me, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Why did that just happen? Where's Freddy? Okay. It's me. Check your door. For me, please. Check your door for me. Okay, thank you. Now, quickly locate them. <laughs> Someone's walking around. They're walking again. I 
I'm waiting for the moment that you put the tablet down and check in there outside your door. Oh, oh, close my it! God. Close oh, it! Oh, my God. Oh, you're dead. Oh, my God. I was trying. Okay. <gasps> the second you put your tablet down, he's going to kill you. Be prepared for that jump scare. Okay. Click on the game. Put your tablet down. Pause it. You, you just got lucky. Now close the right door. Unless he's in here with you. I think he's in there with you. It's not doing the camera. I think you broke the game. I think I did too. Let's just leave the game like this, it's fine. This is, the issue with this game is just turn the light. I'm hearing something. You broke the game. You broke the game. Now I'm afraid. I'm afraid he's in there with you. What does that mean? There is an enemy later on that you have not necessarily that, that hasn't started targeting you yet. He will if. It isn't immediately made clear that he's in the room with you, but once he's in the room with you, closing the door does nothing, and it's a matter of moments before he kills you. Like, he'll be behind you as he enters in. I'm so scared. Close it! Now turn off the light. That's using more power. Now occasionally turn the light back on off to look for a shadow in the window. I think he's still there. Now occasionally turn that light on and off to check for Chica. Like every now and then. I hear someone moving. He's gone. You saw his thing gone in the window, right? Good job. I think he knew you closed the game because he just walked the fuck away for some reason. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> it's because you had the camera closed for so long. Okay, I'll explain how Foxy works uh, for you. I couldn't open the camera. As the guy told you, the less active the camera is, the more active Foxy is. You had the camera closed for a good while. But that was Freddy. That was Foxy. Oh. Freddy doesn't come in from the left. Okay. Foxy and Bonnie come in through the left side. That's one quick way of for you to know what, where to check if you're not sure who, where someone is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Foxy will... Um... Foxy will. I'm debating how much to explain to you without spoiling how he works, like the initial shock you'll get. Just know to occasionally check the Pirate Cove. Mm -hmm. It'll be made apparent how close he is to leaving by his stage of the curtain and him being in or out of the curtain. Mm -hmm. Once he's no longer there, period, you know to check the hallway for him. And from there on, I'm going to let you figure out how you respond to that. Because Foxy is one of the interesting characters that reacts differently. Okay, so he's over here. Okay, he's looking right at the camera. Let's check right here. Okay. You're doing better than attacking two cans did. The, you know how in this portion, the, the phone guy tells you, you know, they get active that night, so you should make sure you know where they are right now. He attacking two cans didn't and got killed in the first like a minute during the phone call. <laughs> it's me. What is that? Honestly? Not it's up for debate in this game. This isn't really a reoccurring thing, so the only assumption you can really make is you know them. That, or they're just possessed. Okay, so he's... He's there. <clears throat> Still there. 
I forgot Foxy exists. Is Foxy the one from this one? Yes. There are four enemies in this game. Two of which you've been killed by so far. Do you hear that? I think that's a sign someone moved. You did, you did check on Foxy, right? I can't remember if you did. You did. Someone's moving. It's Bonnie then. Okay, move further away from you. So do you still think this game is cringy or do you not? Uh, it's not my cup of tea. Let me check on Freddy. Okay, he's still there. Chicky is starting to scare me a little bit. Just standing there. It's going to get worse when you see Chicky in your window. Because unlike Bonnie, when you have the door closed and you turn the light, it'll be very apparent if chick chicken's there. They there, haven't moved in a minute and it's starting to freak me out. There is a bonus mode where you decide their AI levels. The higher the AI, their AI level, think of like D&D. Oh, Chicky moved. She's, oh. Shit. When you hear footsteps or anything suspicious, make sure to check your door. Bonnie moved too. Look for Bonnie. What the fuck? Where's check, Bonnie? Check your door now. Check your door now. Okay. I'm hearing way. footsteps. They're both outside your doors. You might be fine we stopped at night, night two, honestly. Because I feel like you're getting enough of a reaction out of this for you to be satisfied. Shut off! Where's okay, you're still there. Fuck! Where is Chicken then? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Turn off the light. Check the light again. He's still there. Check on Foxy. Oh god, I haven't checked on him in a minute. Okay, you're good. You've been using the camera enough to delay him long enough. <gasps> is that to remind me that I've had the door shut too long? I don't know what that is, honestly. It said something about a door. I believe I can unpack the game files and see what causes that. This one, this guy wants to myth busting video where he went around investigating myths. Okay, you know, so we know where Chicky is. And we checked the door anyways. He's gone. Thank you, fuck. Okay, check your doorways. That's just my default reaction. Check your doorway and then check the cameras. Where the fuck is, uh... Where is Bonnie? She can I'm considering working on a project where I... You know, should I be talking while you're doing this? Yeah, go ahead. Where I work on a multiplayer version of this. And someone... Multiple people have their own cameras. And you have to tell each other what's going on, because you don't have the same cameras. You have to communicate to each other what's happening. Fuck, he's not actually I saw. I see Bonnie in the hallway. I 
I heard someone walking. Chicken Foxy again. He's leaving, so... What the fuck does that mean? You have a bit to react when he does leave. Check her jewelry again. Shut off. I have one more hour. Please check, don't Check for kill Foxy me. again. Close the door! Which one? Which one? You didn't tell me which one! The one he runs down. The left one. <laughs> you have to specify as it's happening. I did also say I wanted to try avoiding telling you too much without... Because if I told you about that... Right. Alright, I think so, that's a good place to stop. Okay, we can discuss anything else I want to tell you about the game. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. That right there, when you see him running, go and close the door before he runs up to it. When he right. attacks your well, door... Well, obviously, because he moves fast. Yes. He will make a sprint for your door and then go all the way back to the cove. I did think this was interesting and it was definitely fun. And I'm sure our viewers here would have a great time uh, watching and listening to me uh, scream and freak out. <laughs> Alright, bye bye We have your minutes. Do you want to discuss the other animatronics? Huh? Maybe a few more minutes of the recording. Do you want to discuss the other animatronics? Yes. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit more about them? So Chica comes on the right side. Mm -hmm. and so is Freddy. Right. That's your one way of knowing where to check for each character. Freddy doesn't become active until later nights. But his mechanic is he doesn't leave once he gets closer. He All he does is get closer. And once he gets closer, he'll be outside your door, but in front of the camera. And it'll be pushed back so you just see his dark as fuck face. Uh huh. And when you check your. There will be no way of knowing when he's going to try going through your door. So you, have to, so you just have to constantly have your door closed with Freddy because he will sneak in. Right. I, built, I think there was a specific sound effect for him walking in with the door open. And once he's in, closing the door will not stop him from killing you because he's in. And it doesn't make that entirely clear unless you're paying attention. Right. Okay. And there was rumor for a while that there was a hole in the back of the office you could sneak into, but it's obviously not true because then there wouldn't be a way to defend yourself against him. Right. Um, and Foxy, when he goes and takes out your door, he'll take away like a good chunk of the power because he actually, he actually slams the door, unlike everyone else. Um, Foxy doesn't like being watched. Yeah. Dum 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 dum. That's Foxy being inactive. That's a good thing to hear. Oh, okay. That's so scary, though. Like, it's a scary good thing to hear. Mm-hmm. And when you're not used to that sound, you don't know what the fuck it means. It makes what you about think the, the carnival music? The carnival sounding music. Freddy is inactive. If you hear Freddy laughing... <laughs> imagine hearing that. He got one step closer to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, good thing we're playing this... You know, before it gets actual dark, because, dear God. And this is really funny, because I purposefully watch, like, borderline horror thrillers. I can't watch horror. The only reason I played this game is because I knew it had patterns. And I, right. And you saw you me cover my face when I thought there was going to be jump scare. Yeah, I know. I noticed that you definitely knew the patterns already. Um, however, with games like this, where there are jump scares... I'm not good at it. That's, yeah, that's e even if there is a pattern, it's, it's not... The jump scares throw me off, but the only good thing is this game actually does everything else well as well. Most jump scares are just terrible. This game actually sets up the atmosphere really well. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Um, I did enjoy it. Uh, maybe it's later, not a game I would play regularly, though. Maybe later on I'll show you Sister Location. Because you actually move around and it's not just in one place. Right. And you're constantly doing different things. See, that makes me feel less helpless. With stuff like this where you're just sitting, it increases the fear because you're sitting there and you're like, well, I can't even really do anything. 
this game does it, it does make you feel helpless at several points though. Um, I nearly beat the location. But there's a point where you have to type on a pen pad. If you don't type it right, you get killed for some fucking reason. I couldn't type on that damn pen pad because my mouth saved my life. I had to keep restarting the entire night too when you could type on that pen pad. Right. So I. So maybe later on you'll play FNAF 2 or FNAF 3 or Sister Location, but for now we're going back to Sonic. Alright, well, bye bye. Bye! Bye bye.